featuring participation by physicists, biologists, theologians, cardinals, and even a Nobel laureate. Rome played host to an international congress about biological evolution. 150 years after its publication, Charles Darwin's book on the origin of species remains the cornerstone of evolutionary biology. The Pontifical Gregorian University hosted the event, which welcomed analysis and discussion between the participants. Among them, Cardinal George Cotier, theologian emeritus of the papal household, underlined the importance of centering the debate on the human person. When the question of man is placed in its intrinsic constitution, with his destiny and his place in the universe, evolution challenges the philosopher and theologian, who must then integrate this into their reflection. Creation means the radical dependence of the creature on the totality of being that is God. Creation is the relation of the creature in all that it is to its creator. From the active point of view, creation means the divine essence with a connotation of a relationship with the creature. It is a relationship and reason. Running from March 3rd to 7th, the Congress was created in collaboration with the University of Notre Dame, based in Indiana, USA, and at the Pontifical Council for Culture, under the purview of the Stoke Project, Science, Theology, and the Ontological Quest. The Congress was one of a series of events that the Holy See dedicated to the English scientist Charles Darwin, on the 200th anniversary of his birth. The Congress represented one of the first dialogues of its kind between science and faith, at which participants appraised the facts upon which the theory of evolution of species is based. Scientific perspectives on the origin of the human being and major anthropological issues related to evolution were discussed. The issue of intelligent design was also mentioned. <laughs> 